Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Plant vs. Zombies 2. Today, we are checking out the new plant of the week, one I'm very excited to take a look at. It is, or should be, the Kiwi Beast. Over this way, the Kiwi Beast bundle. Only one day remaining, so I'm just barely in the nick of time. Kiwi Beast plus 25 Kiwi Beast seed package, which will get it to level two, plus 100 seed package for premium and world plants, and a five bonus gauntlet, so this is what we're gonna get, and then we should be doing some Kiwi Beast premium levels, so that should be a lot of fun, so let's get started. So here are the pinatas. Let's see what we get inside. Of course, the 35 Kiwi Beast. We already have the level two, so I don't know how many levels we actually have for it, but I feel like we've got a lot of experience for it over time. Anyways, we also get the Lightning Reed, Power Lily, Banana Launcher, Squash, Peanut, Guacodile, Moonflower, Dust Globber, whole bunch of awesome experience. Very cool to see all that. So let's head back now. We are going to first go to the Almanac, check out what the Kiwi Beast really does, level it up a little bit as well. Okay, um, so yeah, all the way in the almanac, and I'm not exactly sure where it is, but we'll find it, we'll find it, uh, hmm, up oh, here it is, the Kiwi Beast. So, Kiwi Beasts emit damaging thumps and become bigger and more powerful the more they are hurt by zombies, interesting. So, sort of like a squash kind of walnut kind of thing. Um, special knocks back zombies during growth. Uh, I like to keep an even keel, says Kiwi Beast. But, but zombies, oh, 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 zombies make me so mad. And when I get mad, rawr. So it looks like he has a sun cost of 175, a recharge of 15 seconds, a toughness of 2,000, damage of 40, an area of 3x3, three three, and he is an enforcement style plant. So let's go ahead and get him to level 2 for 1,000 coins that upgrade the toughness and the damage. And of course, he is ready for level 3 as well. So go ahead and get boosted like that. As you can see, he's already level, ready for level four, I guess. But recharge, toughness, and damage also improved. Let's go ahead and get the level four then. And in level four, we get the toughness and damage improved. And guess what? He's ready for level five, which is 10,000 coins. And it's still not done? Oh no, there it goes. Okay, he's level five. Sun cost goes down by 25, which is a pretty big deal. And recharge, toughness, and damage also improved. So very glad to see all that. He's a level five uh, Kiwi Beast. And hopefully there are some epic quests for him. I'm hoping so. Um, so, let's head back out of here. And go right here to the travel log. We've got a couple of extra stuff that we got to get through first. So some extra gems and stuff. Nothing too crazy. Uh, there we go. Grab all this. <laughs> it always takes a second, doesn't it? But then after this, we'll check out whatever Kiwi Beast levels there are. Um, I'm not really sure the next time we'll be able to use him in a uh, tournament, but whenever it is, it'll be very useful too. Um, so, where could it be? Actually, is there not? Why is there not a Kiwi Beast premium levels? Huh, that's weird. They're just not here. All right, um, I guess we'll do some story mode levels with him. And then there's Bagul Blitz. Maybe we'll play a little bit of that to compensate. I'm not really sure. But how weird is that? That's the first time maybe ever we've had a plan of the week without any kind of, uh, like, premium level showcase thing. So we'll do something easier. We'll just do something Ancient Egypt, maybe level 20. Just something a little farther along so we have a lot of zombies to deal with. But just something simple so I can try it out and uh, see what ends up happening. Hmm. Do we get to choose our plants? Yes, we do. So I'll start with sunflowers and find the kiwi beast, which is right here. And then everything else can be totally random. <laughs> I don't really care. <laughs> Not gonna be using it as much, I hope. But with 150 as the sun cost, hopefully we can make something work here. We get some extra sun just like that. Um, so I can already put out two of them. I just want one for right now, just to figure out like really what they do. Because I'm not really sure. Hopefully it's not a torch zombie that pops up first though. Okay, it's not. So Kiwi Beast, right here. Let's just put it right in front of the zombie and see what ends up happening. So he's a little baby Kiwi Beast, and as you can see, as the zombie attacks him, he starts thumping up and down, and that eventually destroys the zombie. And now he's just gonna be continually jumping and thumping because he's not happy. Okay. Interesting. So like an interesting mix of a walnut and like almost like a, uh, what is it? Um, the the fat beets, that's what it is. I always forget the name of it. Uh, but what's weird about this is that it has to be damaged for you even really try it. So 
having one of them that's really powerful, that's great, but that sort of makes it harder for the other ones to get buffed up a bit, but that'll change over time as more zombies move their way in here. So let's speed things up a little bit then. Well, this guy's huge now. And obviously, eventually they're gonna get eaten and destroyed, but honestly, that's not too big of a deal. The only problem is the torch zombies. You might be able to instantly get rid of them. I'm not really sure how that'll work. But as you can see, this guy's jumping. He's not happy, but it's such a cool idea for a plant. I really do like it. So let's see, will he immediately get torched? He will. So that's sort of the biggest threat we have right Oh, come on. That was baloney. Um, boom. The biggest threat we have right now is definitely the torch zombies. Um, that's not typically a worry, but it is in this one. So we've got to keep that in mind. So the question really is then, how much damage did they take before they explode or just get taken out or whatever? Because now you see that guy on the top. He's still kicking though. He definitely is. So you gotta be careful with the torch zombies, but as long as we just keep them right like that, that should be okay. Um, and we're gonna survive this, of course. It's, it's a very early all level, but I like the concept of being able to try that out was great. I would love to try this in like, um, uh, one of the Dark Ages levels or something like that. Uh, but for right now, there is that done. Get ourselves an Ancient Egypt pinata. I know, I know. Um, so we get 100 coins out of that, some experience for the twin sunflower and for the bong choy. Let's keep moving forward then. We are going to uh, keep at it a little bit. Like I said, I think I want to do Dark Ages because I'm thinking of like, what are some other plants or zombies that are tough to deal with? Because, you know, maybe a projectile plant doesn't work with them, the Jester zombie. So we'll try that out a little bit. So I guess like where this plant might be a little weak is when there is like a one hit takedown situation like the torch or maybe the surfer zombie where he slams the surfboard and gets rid of a plant in one go. That would be a problem for the Kiwi Beast. But for something like this, I think we'll be fine. Let's try level 16. I don't know if this will be a good choice or not, but we're just gonna go for it. Okay, here we are. There are definitely some gesture zombies here. So I might just like reselect the same thing. Like I said, I don't know if it really matters too much. Maybe I should have tried a little bit of a better strategy. I just chose random stuff. Uh, but we'll just get some sunflowers out for right now. And hope for the best. Yeah, maybe I should have gotten a little bit more of a core strategy going just in case. But uh, if I really need to, primal potato mine is here. Just get a couple of sunflowers out. Once we get a full lane of them, then it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Hopefully I can get more level ups for like plants like the sunflower eventually. Because they really need it. Okay. Uh, just a little bit more, if you don't mind. There's one. Is that all I'm going to get? I hope not. There we go. So let's just get a Kiwi Beast out. I would like to get them farther out than that over time. But as you can see, now we're doing damage to them. Always good to see that. I'll get that there. And maybe I'll just do that. It's a little tough to work on at the moment. Oh, here we go. Hmm, how do I want to do this then? Because I could... Yep, do that. Get a sunflower. Let's slow some things down real quick, because I feel like that might be a good idea. Uh, get that there. Okay, that actually wasn't too bad. Now I can speed things back up for just a little bit. I just want to get as many sunflowers out as I can. And like, as you can see, this isn't the most productive strategy in the world. But it, it definitely could be worse. And what's cool now is that like that guy's at like max, I can just put a walnut there instead now. And that should be plenty good. Well, he got knocked back. Yeah, that's right. He gets knocked back whenever they jump up to their next form. That's really cool and really useful. And that's when you can put the primal just like out like that. And that works fantastically. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of stuff. Uh, boom, go ahead and destroy some of those. But it looks like they eventually do get past the QEB, and that's where you gotta be careful. Um, but as you can see, these gesture zombies are getting damaged down. But I think they did reflect the uh, grape shot, so I do have to be careful of that. Maybe I can get another one a little bit farther out, just like that. It's definitely not perfect, but it's very, very interesting. I do really like this plant, for sure. But since I haven't asked you guys yet, what are your thoughts on this plant? Let's go ahead and get a plant feed on it and see what happens. I think it'll just, yeah, immediately start jumping around like crazy. You do it on this guy, too. Awesome. That's so cool. I really like him. Yeah, what are your thoughts on the Kiwi Beast? Have you been able to get him yet? I'd love to hear all about it. It does sort of stink that there's no premium levels for him for some reason. I really don't know what the dealio is there, but at least we're enjoying ourselves with him one way or another. And I definitely will want to try more strategies with him later on. Boom. I know the Jester Zombies will probably reflect those. Actually, they didn't. They did last time, so that's a little weird. Um, anyways, I sort of want to get through this level now, so just going to get out as much as I can. 
But the Kiwi Beasts, they're doing their thing. It's working out quite well. Okay, good enough, boom. Is that gonna be it? I think so. So there is a Dark Ages level done. Let's do one more and maybe do it in modern day. Seems like a right place for me. Uh, so there we go. Get a couple, good couple of extra coins there, some for the Madness Room and Sunbeam. Pretty cool. So this might end up proving difficult, so I actually do want to take the time. Oh, we'll go ahead and upgrade the bloke, or why not get it to level three. 5,000 coins for one second recharge time is sort of baloney, um, but I do want to actually take the time to set up something at least a little bit more decent, just in case things don't work out. Um, wouldn't want that to happen, of course, so uh, just trying some different things, that would be good. Um, on top of that, we will get, hmm, maybe we'll get the Primal Wanna out again. And then I have enough space for something extra. I could do something like the Stalia, maybe just to slow them down a little bit. Where is that at? That would be with the Lost City plants. Right there. Okay, so let's try this out. Hope for the best. And immediately start putting some sunflowers down uh, as soon as I get the chance to. I have the blower out here because there was a balloon zombie and I figure it might just be better to blow those guys away if they pop up in huge amounts. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see. For right now, I can do this. I could definitely oh, misplace that. Whoops. I thought the sunflowers are definitely working faster in these levels, but maybe not. Um, but let's get the Kiwi Beast out. That's not too far forward, too far back. I think that's actually a pretty good mix with everything. Um, but keep up with all of that, slow you down. Um, Kiwi Beast there as well. If I could get a little bit more sun. We're actually still waiting for him to restore though. So we'll see how that goes. There we go, and blow over. See ya. Awesome. That was pretty good. See, this is what I get worried about, is this guy, though. Um, because, of course, he could probably get rid of it in one hit, but luckily, we could just get the Primal Potato Mine out, and that does its thing. So, of course, Primal Plants are awesome, as per usual. We'll use another blow over here to get rid of two balloon zombies. And boom, just because I don't like those, those uh, the bulls too much. So, honestly, if he could actually eat through that Kiwi Beast a bit. Okay, let's see what's gonna happen with the Surfer Zombie. Yeah, immediately get rid of it. So there definitely are still some weaknesses with everything that you have to be aware of um, with the Kiwi Beast. Anything that would immediately get rid of a plant is gonna be a huge problem. Anyways, it's it's pretty cool when you're working with it with other plants now. Um, I like the strategies you can do with it. It's really fun so far. Um, so definitely, I think it's a great plant and I wanna continue to use it. Um, there we go. And this guy's like the last guy, so let's try that out. Okay, so there we go, three levels with the Kiwi Beast there. Um, if we get the chance to use them a little bit more throughout today's episode, that's awesome, but I honestly wanted to, uh, well, first of all, let's see, we get coins, we get Dusk Lobber experience and Nightshade experience and a bonus Solar Tomato, getting it almost a level up, very cool. But with the rest of today's time, there is still a set of bonus levels we can do for the Bejeweled Blitz. It doesn't really have too much to do with the Kiwi Beast, of course, but if they're there and I have the time, which I do now, um, might as well give it a try because those are always really fun levels. So where was that? Bejeweled Blitz, not Bejeweled Blitz. Um, so let's try that out a bit. Hope for the best with everything. Okay. So if you don't know, this was in the story mode for modern day. It's basically where you match three. Penny, a grid of plants for swapping. Oh, this is in ancient Egypt this time. I don't think I've seen it like this before. Indeed, user D, plants can be swapped to create th matches of three or more. You must make 125 matches to defeat the zombies. You can use sun to upgrade your plants. Okie doke, let's give it a try. So, um, I already see the bong choice sort of stick out quite a lot there. So we'll do that and a pea shooter over here, Colonel Pult. Okay, this is already going pretty well. Oh, there we go. Oh, the major combo. I like it. Uh, Walnut there. Bong Choy over this way. We can get two Colonel Pults matched up. Just like that. Um, There we go, whoa. This is going really well. Let's go ahead and upgrade some stuff because that's always worth it. Uh, That right there. Oh, and I activated your plant food effect. Always cool to see that. Oh my gosh. Because of course the goal is to earn up sun, um, which we are doing with every single uh, match that we make. And the better the match, the more sun we get with it. So always worth it. And then we can upgrade things like we upgraded the uh, something to fat beats there. Bong choy to fat beats. Interesting upgrade, I suppose. I don't know if that's really better or worse in this situation. I mean, it looks like, I mean, I don't really know how the levels work with this. If it's based off the levels of our plants or if it gives them some predetermined levels 
But so far, things aren't too bad here. I need some more sun if I want to get every upgrade. And they are slowly getting rid of some stuff, which can be a problem, but I think we'll be okay. There we go. Um, yeah, get that there. And then this here. And get a match there. Match here, that's gonna double up some matches as well. Always good to see that. Oh, here we go. Four back this way. It's gonna launch some butter around. And that, that's sort of weird. It upgrades the Colonel Pulse into Bloomerangs, which I feel like might be a bit of a downgrade considering it won't slow them down as much, but I mean, I guess it'll do more damage. So I guess the levels are based off of whatever levels we have the plants, because Snowpea's level six, Aki's level two. So that, you know, I guess it just depends on the individual user, which upgrades are actually worth it. So if I had a really high level Colonel Pulp but a really low level Bloomerang, luckily that wasn't the case, but if it was, that would have definitely been a downgrade. Um, anyways, let's just keep going with this. Uh, get that there. And we're getting closer and closer to some more upgrades here. Oh, here's a, here's a four. Perfect. Oh, major combos. I like it. So we still have a lot of matches to make here. So this is actually pretty involved. 85 out of 125, so we still have 40 matches left to make before it's satisfied. Okay, um, get that there. Lots of ton up matches. There are some keys now. Uh, there we go. So they go from Bloomerangs to keys for some reason. Once again, a weird choice, but whatever works really. Hmm, oh, here we go. That there. This here. Oh boy, that pea shooter's going. So those should be upgraded to snow peas, which actually might be, yeah, that'll definitely be a direct upgrade. So that's at least good to see. Um, okay. I'm getting closer and closer. I feel like I'm getting at least a little bit better at this as we go along, which is fun. Always fun to improve. Okay, yeah, I can definitely get that there. Oh, here we go, here's gonna be four of them. Another three. So we only need five more matches left to make. The snow peas are definitely easier to point out now. Uh, so you definitely just get that, and there we go, we did it! Not bad, so that's our first one. I think there were a couple of them. So we'll just keep chipping through these, and then also by the end of today's episode, maybe we'll do the pinata party, that'd be fun. So, Begold Blitz, I always love these, and we win 60 premium seed packets for completing all of it. So overall, this should be a ton of fun. Really looking forward to it. So, uh, what's next? Uh, I detect three different power-ups, user Dave. They are Power Shuffle, Power Shovel, and Power Zap. Power Shuffle scrambles the board if you are having trouble finding a match. Power Shovel fills a, in a crater, allowing an eaten plant to be replaced. Power Zap powers Zap zombies. I was confused about that last one. <laughs> All right, well, as you can see, we can get back to it. Ooh, so we've got sunbeans, puff shrooms, pea shooters, walnuts. Uh, we'll try to make the most out of this then. Um, I'll drag that down that way. Pea shooter here. Oh, here we go. Boom, got the Iron Maiden. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Hmm, oh yeah, here we go, here we go. I was looking around, I was a little confused. I gotta get used to all the different colors to match up with my eyes. Oh, I could have gotten four pea shooters there. It's fine though. I mean, I guess this leads to more matches. Whoa, the lucky combo. Would you look at that one? That one was crazy. That was like the entire way down. Anyways, Torchwoods. There we go, Fume Shrooms. Working out pretty well. Oh, nice. Very nice. Get that there. Uh, okay. Oh, I love the super powered Torchwood. Too far, too bad he's like way far in the back. Uh, that's not really gonna help anybody. Sort of the opposite of how Torchwoods usually work. There we go. Get that there. At least we're getting some pretty major combos now. We'll upgrade that and this, and now we can get a bunch more sun and get that. So all of our upgrades are already situated. We just need to make 100 matches. Not even the same amount as last time. Last time was 125. There's a double match right there. Um, you do that there as well. Ooh, this one's going by real fast then. And I'm gonna try to keep that up. Uh, right there. Okay. 79 out of 100. 
82. Just gotta keep at it. But yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this mini game. I mean, we played it a lot, of course, back in the story mode episodes um, when we were doing Modern Day, which I think was like between episode 40 and 50. So definitely go check those out if you haven't. They were a lot of fun. Playing through the story mode of this game was a total blast, and I miss it a lot. I wish it was more story mode content. But uh, definitely lots and lots of fun. We're just going to uh, keep at this for now though, because we're almost done. Almost through with it all. Uh, get that there, match this over, and I guess we got it. What happened to those plants? They just decided to leave early. Okay, well there's another one done. We have three more to go, so we're just gonna hop right back into it and see if we can't get some other stuff. So I could have used power-ups there, but I'd rather not if I can avoid it because they cost coins, and I'm trying to save my coins for more important things. We've seen some of those power-ups in action, like I said, back in story mode, so if you're curious, definitely check those episodes out. Uh, but yeah. Oh, now we're on Big Wave Beach. So much swapping, Penny. Indeed, it is a gauntlet user, Dave. However, my sensors detect a rich reward if we persevere. Keep calm and swap on. All right, so this time we got magnifying grass, cabbage pulp, three Peter sunflower, and walnut. But there's more plants to it this time. Anyways, let's get right to it, get the three Peter matchup wherever I can. Yep, ooh, plant food effect, double plant food effect. Looking good. Um, hmm. Yep, right there. Ooh, hoo, hoo. So we just gotta keep working with all of that stuff as much as I can. So, so far not so bad. We can already upgrade the walnuts and that makes it so much easier to see <laughs> which ones need to be matched up and which ones can't. Okay, I move that three Peter over. Sometimes when the visuals change, it just sort of gives you a new perspective and you can just make new matchups. I definitely like it. Uh, that's gonna be four of them right there, so that's always nice to see. Uh, got some cabbage pots, more tall nuts. Hmm, a uh, little lost in this one. Oh, here we go, here we go. Sunflower over there. Oh, here we go. The magnifying grass. Can I actually, oh, I can actually activate the magnifying grass as well. I probably don't want to do that. I want to save my son as much as possible, but that's very interesting. Probably a good reason to get rid of the magnifying grasses as soon as possible though. But now we can get even more sun just from the twin sunflowers producing sun, which is awesome. Um, Cause all of the plants still execute their functions while we're matching them up like this, you know? So that's always cool to see. There we go. Oh my. Um, yeah, let's move this one back. Looking good. Uh, there we go. So there's lots of plants to match up here. Oh, now we're moving. So that's working out quite well. Oh, here we go. Major walnut matchup. I feel like there's a matchup I'm, I'm looking at, but I can't see. Oh, there's one right here. Then we can activate that. Halfway to getting the coconut cannon, which would be amazing. But once again, I would have to activate that myself, so I'd have to pay attention to that, or they'd just sort of be sitting there doing nothing. And that wouldn't be very good. Well, we got the melon pullets out now, and they will definitely make a big difference with things. Oh, some of the stuff is getting covered by the octopus, so that's not good. Um, get that there. Even more. Okay, we're getting closer and closer with this. We're at 74 out of 110 matches we need to make. Okay, ooh, here we go. So let's launch all these cannons for fun. And then we can start matching them up as much as I can. Yeah, I just don't wanna get too distracted by that is the only thing, um, cause that'd be a bit more of a problem. So we can match that up, no problem. Launch that cannon, launch these ones, get that sunflower. Ooh, the melon bolt, really going crazy with that one. Okay. Uh, right there, right here. Almost have the dandelion. That'll be cool. Oh, here we go. Three Peter going crazy. There's the dandelion. So there's all the upgrades I can do right now. So we're just looking for four more matches anyways. We should be able to get that no problem. Right there, and then right here. That's one nine, one oh nine, and one ten. Awesome. So that this really hasn't been super crazy challenging so far. Like we only really lost one plant there. Um, so we can just keep chipping away with this. Two more levels left to go before we get 60 premium seed packets. And with those, I hope we get a level up or two for some cool plants. That'd be fun. Okay, so it looks like we are on, uh, what is this called? 
not brain freeze caves. It's something like that. Anyways, we have Walnut, Rotabaga, Pea Shooter, uh, Pop Shroom, and, um, whatever the boomerang. The bloomerang, that's what it's called. Okay. Getting all the names mixed up. Uh, there we go. It's Frostbite Caves, is what it's called. A uh, Brain Freeze Caves. Uh, <laughs> anyways, match up all these walnuts. Upgrade those guys right away because it's always a big upgrade because they have so much more range to them. Uh, get that. This here. Boomerang. Rotabaga. And getting the Rotabaga uh, plant food effect happening would be cool as well because that's a pretty useful one. From what I remember. There we go. Uh, pea shooter. Oh, I could have gotten four of them matched up there. Whoops. Gotta pay attention for that. But hey, at least we're making good progress with it. And I hope nobody minds. I know we're supposed to be showcasing the Kiwi Beast, but I really enjoy these levels. I think they're fun. And we were able to showcase the Kiwi Beast a bit. You know, we, we get the general idea with it. Wow, that was a lot of them at once. Uh, get that there. Okay. And yeah, get that there. Ooh, okay. So we can upgrade to the star fruit now. Once again, once I just get that little change of perspective, everything sort of becomes a little bit more apparent for a bit. And that's always useful. I think that's more of a perk than anything else. Anyways, we do have to make another 125 matches this time. That's not gonna be easy, but it, you know, shouldn't be too bad. The Gargantuar throwing out stuff is a little bit of a problem, but luckily they all landed on a walnut. So I was able to hold them back for a bit. Let's upgrade to the charred guards now instead of walnuts, so let's hope that's a good idea. Um, matching that up there, that there for sure. Okay. Yep, got it. Lots and lots of stuff going on. Let's up upgrade to the Snapdragons. Very cool. Don't actually have too many matches for the Snapdragon at the moment. Okay, don't worry about it too much. Just keep moving on with everything else then. Uh, Bloomerang there. Uh, pea shooter there. Definitely want to upgrade the pea shooter. I guess that would be upgraded into a um, citron, which actually is pretty crazy. Very useful for sure. Uh, lots of charred guards we can match up right now. I thought, but I guess not. There's a snapdragon matchup. Then charred guard. Then another one right there. Um, hmm. Okay, here we go. Starfruit. Snapdragon again. Yeah, I love the variety of the different locations we're going to and all the different plants in it. It really does mix it up from the story mode version and that's just really appreciated. Just getting some nice variety with it. So this one's actually proven to be a bit more difficult than some of the other ones. Um, but that's okay, we're still holding on quite well. Get that there. Um, there we go, Snapdragon plant food. Always fun to see that. We only need a little bit more sun and we get the uh, the Citron, but at the same time, it's not really that big of a deal at this point, because we're almost done anyways, but it's still cool, still useful. Got it. Here we go. Ooh. Got some there. Oh yeah, we can upgrade them now, ready? Oh, did we do it? I guess so, there just weren't too many Citrons. Actually, no, now I see them. I don't know why, they just weren't too apparent to me. Anyways, where are the next matchups? I actually don't really see any right now. Oh, all right here, yeah. It will flash at you eventually if there is something you don't see. Okay, come on, just a couple more. So let's just keep at it for right now. Keep chipping away, there's a Citron matchup. Pretty cool. Uh, oh, right here, right here, got it. And that, so at 120 out of 125, there's that, okay. Not bad. And there we go, we did it! So that means that there's only one more level left to do. Where is it gonna be? We'll be back in modern day. It could be like Jurassic Marsh or something. Uh, Jurassic Marsh, uh, I don't think we've done Dark Ages. No, we have, we've done Dark Ages. So we'll just see where it's gonna be. Maybe it might be Far Future. It is Far Future, all right. Oh, so we got Red Singer, Pea Shooter, Snapdragon, Walnut, Chomper, and, and I already said Snapdragon. <laughs> Snapdragon again! Cool. Uh, so we're definitely just gonna match up as much of these as possible. Of course, the, the uh, what did I just call them? Um, the red plants. 
I just I just said what they were. Um, but the red stingers. Um, they are going to be uh more powerful on the far left than the far right. So if we have a choice, we can match those ones up instead. But I'll probably just be going for whatever matches I can reach. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, get that double chomper match. Doesn't really do much in terms of plant food, but it's still cool to get those matches. Get a chomper out that way. Yeah, chomper is definitely one of the first things I would like to replace just because I feel like he has a very limited use with how he is and you just can't really choose where they're going to show up anyways, so might be better off to do that. Oh, can we get the uh, citron wall? Yes, not citron wall. The, uh, the uh, infinite wall, and yes we can, but not sure how useful it'll end up being. Get that there. Okay, so getting a lot of chomper matches though, which is pretty good. Got a doubled up match right there. Always good to see. Oh, there we go. Now the Red Singer's doing some pretty good stuff. Get that stuff upgraded. So we only have right now the primal uh, piece here. So I guess there was no chomper upgrade in general. <laughs> That's sort of silly. But we have to make 135 matches this time, so we really gotta make the most of that. Um, that is the most we've had to make so far. And seeing how this is the last one, it's gonna be the last of what we have to make. Uh, let's get this here. That there. And then I can move this over. Perfect. Uh, cool. Yeah, I feel like at the least the plants are very noticeable for this one. Making it much easier just to make these matchups. Everything has a distinct color too, which is good. Sometimes that can be a big tough part about it is when they all have the same color and it just can be hard to tell one apart from the other. There we go. Ooh, pretty good. Red Singer's all beefed up, or not. <laughs> he hasn't done anything. Weird, maybe he's waiting for plants to show up or zombies to show up. Nope, it's just, it didn't do anything. Weird. I mean, hopefully I won't end up needing it, but still odd. Yeah, the, the, the Red Singer's up that way don't even like activate. They're just sort of chilling in their little bud. Yeah, I guess these guys sort of replace the scaredy shroom. I'm now realizing, yeah, there's no there's no scaredy shroom in this game. Instead, we have these guys. Uh, yeah, let's move that over that way. This over like that. Okay, got that chomper all matched up with it finally. There we go. Oh, we can get the primal pea shooter now too. Looking good. Oh, that major chomper matchup. Okay, that right there. So we're making our way through most of this. We still have 36 matches left to go. So let's not let up anytime soon. There we go. Oh, okay, that was very lucky. This always makes me in the mood to play like the actual Bejeweled game. It's always so much fun. <laughs> very addicting game. And that's also a PopCap game. What do you know? That's why this mode is in here, because it's sort of referential. Uh, get that there. Come on, just a couple more. It's all we need. Yeah, about 12 or 13 more. Not gonna really check right now. Just gonna keep making matches. Not too bad. Oh, here's a major primal pea shooter matchup I can make right there. There we go! Really, really good. So that one was one of the most smooth sailing ones. We didn't really struggle too much of finding matches. We were just consistently finding it the entire way through. And let's see what we get for seed package. We get ourselves 10 for the hot potato, 10 for the snow pea, 10 for the moonflower, 10 for the jalapeno, 10 for the sun shroom, 10 for the guacodile. Not too bad. All right then, so we got some extra seed packets out of all that. Um, lots and lots of fun. Hopefully you guys had as much fun as I did with this. Um, let me know your thoughts on the Kiwi Beast for sure. But with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies 2. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.